so I'm in Belgium now and the first night I just went for a stroll down the road it's about a 15 minute walk to a tram and a bus and a train <laughs> and an ATM this town seems to be all about this fun park I have to do practical stuff right now I have to go to the supermarket and the petrol station but I also want to practice a little bit more driving on the right side of the road while maybe on these slightly quieter roads as well and I thought I found a castle that's about 15 minutes drive away so I thought you know that'd probably be the the best location to go to So driving here, I'd found a easy looking route in Google Maps, but I thought I'd force my GPS, car GPS to change it and go part of the way and then, yeah, I still managed to get lost, but I ended up actually, funnily enough, at the border of Germany, uh, the border of France and Belgium. I just, I still can't get over that you can just casually drive between countries like that. It's just so novel to me <laughs> and then I did manage to find all the narrow roads in Belgium didn't I a few tractors as well which is always fun but I kind of it's luckily this area seems quite relaxed for wrapping my head around driving on the right side of the road so I didn't seem to annoy any drivers Basically, this is more enjoyable than I was expecting. <laughs> There's hardly anyone here. And you get one of these and you push in a number and it tells you all the information you need to know about that room. With the many little drawers and mirrors between the two windows, because this is the end of your visit to the castle. You know, this has been my favourite type of tourism or exploring the area when you see something beautiful something a little bit surprising and it's, it's not full of all these other tourists and you feel like you don't have to rush that is a good tourist day <laughs> and I'm gonna try a different route going home again the sat-nav is trying to get me onto the motorway but I'm gonna stay on the <clears throat> the end roads that seem to be like the A roads in the UK and like the main main roads in New Zealand. <laughs> One of the fun parts of traveling overseas is going to the supermarket and just checking out all the different type of food they have on offer. So I bought a few different things. <laughs> Number one these. I think they're small plums but I thought I'd have a taste. I couldn't resist this chocolate. Look at it. <laughs> Look how thick it is. It's like a slab. And of course, I've got to get some of these. So my meals, I've ended up with, it looks like, a Moroccan <laughs> themed meal. That was on sale at the front. It's a little bit different to what I've, I've had in the past. And then this, I'm going to have tonight. <laughs> German. And then possibly Italian. <laughs> Not quite sure. It's just something about fresh carrot. Mm. No, it turns out this is meat as well. <laughs> so it's, it's like a mystery food. Plenty of flavour, but I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so it's like meat, meat and a little bit of edge. Today I'm actually driving to the bottom of the Netherlands. It's got this little pointy bit that's kind of in between Belgium and Germany. So. There's a nice sounding campground there 
and it's then closer to Dusseldorf. So this is going to be my longest drive in, in Europe on the right side of the road. It's saying it's going to take three hours but I'm going to guess it's going to be more like three and a half with the caravan. Last night it was telling me it was more it was going to be over four hours with the traffic so I have been warned that the traffic can get bad. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if, if the best route was to go kind of via Belge, uh, Brussels or via Antwerp. So this morning Google Maps was suggesting Brussels route and it does look kind of simpler <laughs> less changing on the motorways and it just looks like motorway after motorway after motorway and then I just jump off at the end. My nervous part I suppose is what if I want to have a break? What are the break stops like here? Like <laughs> are they like the UK or can I just pull over to the side of the road? on the A type of roads which I think are called N here although there was an A. See I just don't know. I don't know enough about these roads. Turn left A40 A18 towards Brussels then after 500 yards take the motorway. So I didn't end up stopping on this trip and resting. There were a lot of places that you could pull off the motorway to rest but to be honest not all of them suited a caravan and I wouldn't really know if they would suit until I'd already driven past. That drive was, in a way, easier than some that I've experienced in the UK, funnily enough. It was kind of on the motorway, different types of motorways, all the way here, and then a tiny bit at the end, down quieter roads. And this road's actually a gravel road, that's the first time I've seen one. I think the toughest part of this drive was around Brussels. I think if you if you didn't have a uh, sat-nav that told you what lane to go in it would be very challenging and actually there was one part nearer the end where it was a bit confusing that you could go on the far right lane to me it looked like a shoulder it was like a solid white line painted on the ground that but there was a green arrow saying you could go there and everyone all the other slow traffic was in that lane so and the quirks with this campground uh, everyone seems to have the caravan side on. The lady at reception, the owner, she asked if I had motor movers and I said no and, and I just assumed it would be like it looked like I'd have to reverse in which I did no problem but turns out I had to turn the caravan side on and she gave me a hand but it got stuck in, in some dirt so our neighbor came over and helped push it too. And then it looks like everyone has an awning. So I've been loaned an awning from Prima Leisure and I haven't actually used it just because I've been tra traveling around so fast. And the couple of times where I've stayed a little bit longer, either the weather's been bad, or, yeah, actually the weather's been bad at both, both destinations, so. <laughs> but I guess if I'm gonna use it, this is probably the place to try it out. Another awesome observation, well, what I found out, I can order bread and I'll get it the next day. That's awesome. And then also, I need to get some cash at some point today or tomorrow uh, because their machine doesn't accept Visa card. So, my giant awning is just sitting outside. Uh, I'm not going to do it today. Seriously, one big awning and heavy too. <laughs> also, I've just left the caravan cover on the front just because with the caravan side on, <laughs> because mine's a UK caravan, the door's on the other side, so I'm out of sync with everyone. Oh, 
Ressource. Picked up my fresh bread for the morning. Gosh, it smells nice. I'm gonna have the uh, this one, I think, for breakfast. <laughs> so I know not everyone will agree that I should have put Vegemite on it, but I like Vegemite. <laughs> it's absolutely boiling today. I feel like I've missed the opportunity to put up the awning. I should have done it first thing this morning, but decided to do video editing instead, which is also important. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. See how I feel. It's starting to get hot again. It's about 11.30 a.m. I think this is the hottest day of my stay. So, sitting on the floor making the most of the, uh, the airflow. I've got it mid on five, which seems a quiet fan speed, but nice airflow happening throughout. And yesterday I bought myself a whole lot of ice blocks, which are great, great idea. So you might be thinking I look like I've got a whole lot of pimples, but I think they're mosquito bites. <laughs> I don't know where they got in. I still haven't figured it out. There's a thunderstorm over there and you can feel the temperature suddenly changed. It's, it's suddenly much more bearable. <laughs> Look what I just hired for the day. It's 10 euros and I get to uh, yeah, <laughs> cycle around. Even just cycling from the, the reception to here, I was wobbling a little bit. It's been a while, it's been a while. I think I'm in Germany now. <laughs> the um, border is quite close to the campground. You do see more while cycling. Yeah, it's great. So far I'm really enjoying it. Although I suspect my thighs are going to uh, hate me tomorrow. <laughs> That is really surprising. Cycling in this area seems the way to go, really. You see so much more. <laughs> I was daydreaming about this on the last little patch. Hot. 